Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. I think in this video it might be worth to focus on the micro price action um, in addition to what I highlighted yesterday in the video. So if you want to have a bit more context, yeah, absolutely feel free to check out yesterday's update. We were waiting for a potential breakout here to the upside of this triangle that occurred. We had five waves up, didn't expect massive price action afterwards, just a fifth wave. You could argue we got our fifth wave. Um, now we had five waves up. That could be obviously a wave one in a larger uptrend, or it might just be an A wave in a larger ABC structure to form this B wave. So in terms of long-term upside, are we already on track to really going into a larger third wave rally? It's too early, but we have a small five wave move. I mean, we're hanging on to any movement at the moment, right? Um, even on smaller time frames, just at least to talk about something new. I know the market is just a bit tired at the moment. It's, and a lot of altcoins are looking a bit sad. Uh, Solana probably still one of the more healthy ones here short term as well. So I would I would argue we have a potential five wave move up here. These micro counts are less reliable though. But as I highlighted to you, I think yesterday, we could now be looking forward to a pullback into this support area. Support hasn't changed. It's between $22.90 and $23.75. So what we normally want is that... Um, so let, let's, let's um, I'm, for risk management purposes, I call this now an ABC structure. So let's assume we are now in an ABC where the A wave had five waves. Could also be something more bullish, but let's call it like that. I don't wanna, don't wanna make people too excited here at this stage. But certainly there is upside potential as long as price doesn't break below $22.90. So we have an A wave to the upside. We have a B wave to the downside. This is unfolding right now into support. I'm going to add the 38.2 support level as well. Not because I think the wave B is necessarily finished. Well, it could be, but in most cases you would expect it to go at least to the 50% retracement at 23.75. But obviously a B wave consists of three waves as well. So why is this? Well, this could be an A wave, the move down that hits $24.10. Now we could get a B wave bounce that should stay, however, below the Sunday swing low, swing high, should stay below the Sunday swing high. And then we should come down once more in C wave. So this is sort of what I'm watching for. Um, you see also, which is quite interesting, how coins move independently. So here, this coin, obviously Solana, at the moment on the microstructure as well, moves quite independently from Bitcoin. It's quite interesting. So I think we have this five wave move complete. We're now looking for this three wave pullback to play out. Support is $22.90. As long as this level is holding, a C wave higher can happen. And then if we get another higher low and another higher high after the C wave top, we have a larger five wave move and I can call it a wave one instead of a larger B wave, which might sell off again. Hope that makes, hope that makes sense. Hope that's clear. Uh, at the moment, we just simply haven't got enough price information to say this is already part of the larger wave one. It could simply be a larger B wave, okay, which would be bearish, short term bearish. That would be very short term here, potentially bullish. It always bullish and bearish is always a question of perspective. It's always a matter of um, what time frame you're actually looking at, okay. Now, this to me uh, allows for further upside theoretically already from here, but I would rather see a clearer three wave structure in the B wave. But as communicated yesterday against the 2290 level, so $22.90, we can focus on higher. And it should reach the red resistance zone. So $26 would be sort of the next key target, then $27.20 next. We can also look at Fibonacci extension targets in that we take the length of this A wave, go to the low of the B wave. But again, I can only really I can only really measure it against the last low. So if we make another low in this orange support area, I might have to adjust this. But this points towards sort of the first relevant level being the 61.8 extension at 60, $26. Very much overlapping with the 38.2 retracement here at $26.08. And then the 100% extension is at $27 basically. So yeah, let's see. I mean, they are still pretty much moving targets until we have an established bottom in place here locally in this orange support area. 
that ranges all the way down to $22.90. That's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.